Hello and welcome back to the channel folks, Heir of Carthage here, and yes we have another Carthage versus Egypt battle. No, I'm not showing you the same one. <laughs> this is a different one and I'm excited about it because as I mentioned last time, I like these two factions. They have a lot of different tools at their disposal. They are a bit different between the two of them and each one may have certain advantages over the other. However, like I said, I think it's a cool matchup. Neither one of them is an ultimate power faction in a multiplayer and neither one of them, I would say, has like ultra-dominant infantry, uh, stuff like that. However, I would say that Egypt is probably the better skirmisher of the two. Um, they just have some really nice options in total. Now, that's not to say that Carthage can't skirmish, and they certainly can. They've got three Balearic Slingers here. They're backed up by three Carthaginian cavalry and a bodyguard. And then in the infantry line, it's quite elite. There's two Sacred Band, one on either flank. And they are sandwiching in the middle three mercenary Samnite warriors, which are a very tough defensive melee unit. Uh, there are three units of late Libyan hoplites, one in the rear center, and then one on either flank, and they are also supported by a Libyan peltist, which is a nice heavy peltist. Uh, now, speaking of peltist, the Egyptians are going to have a lot, but up front they have the Rhodian slingers. Now, the Rhodians have a little bit more shots per minute. I think it's eight versus seven on the uh, Balearics, so it's going to be close between these two, though technically I think the Rhodians are a hair better. Um, there are four Levy Thurio Spears, which are an excellent javelin unit. Um, they are going to be terrible in melee, but they can do a lot of damage with their javelins and they can huck them from a pretty good range. There are four Egyptian pikes in total. They're going to be holding up either flank and being supported by melee units behind, including a Thurio Spear. Um, there are two more of those in the back as well. Um, so it looks like three more Thurio Spear in total, uh, two Galatian Royal Guard and a Carrion Axe General, which again is even more Javelin. So Egypt essentially has, I mean, let's see, four, seven, uh, eight Javelin units here. No, yeah, eight Javelin units. Um, so, I mean, it's that's a lot. Uh, Cavalry-wise, Carthage has a slight advantage. It's three of theirs to only two of the Egyptian cavalry. Um, so Carthage should have a bit of a mobility advantage if they play it right, but it's going to depend on how the players use their cards. Now over here, a couple of Mercenary Numidian Cavalry as well. Those are really capable skirmisher cavalry. Not great in melee, but they can skirmish. Look at this. Those Levy Thurio Spears close the distance and immediately start putting their Javelins into the Balearic Slingers. That's a high value target. This is going to mean the Rhodian Slingers have a chance to get way ahead here. So Carthage will likely lose the, the initial upfront skirmish here. However, that said, how they use their slingers can potentially make a big difference on this battle still. So we will see there's some focus fire going into one of the Rhodians, and then it looks like the Libyan peltists on either flank are going to be used to rip into the Egyptian pikemen. I like that. Pikemen are particularly susceptible to these javelins, and they are in tightly packed formations that make them take a ton of damage. There's a Galatian Royal Guard coming up to try and push that peltist back. Um, it should be able to do so. It's only guarded by a late Libyan, though this could be risky. It'd be interesting if the late Libyan went into a real boxy formation to just hold the Royal Guard and let the uh, Javelins pepper it from behind. Could be an interesting... we'll see what happens there. But yeah, the Pike's definitely taking some heat. Um, the main infantry line should be doing quite well for Carthage. These Levy Thurio Spears are going to be awful. The Egyptian Pikes can try and get in here and push, but they don't have great damage. And they're not very good on attack either, and it's hard to force Pikes in to a fight, I've always felt like they need to have some kind of push mechanic or an advancing mechanic, um, but no such thing really exists. I saw someone created a mod for Rome 2, which was pretty cool. It was called the Proper Pike Mod or something like that. I used it for a while. It was pretty neat. Um, in any case, we've got these Egyptian cavalry here uh, coming in. They're going to get shut down by the Carthaginian cavalry, but what they're trying to do is just kind of YOLO in to get rid of the mercenary Balearics, and there's still um, some javelin units back here to protect the Rhodian slingers. We got Thurio Spears, so it's going to take some creative cavalry play by Carthage to pull this off. Um, that Galatian Royal Guard is going to be extremely tough to crack. And then we got the Sacred Band kind of up on the flank of these pikes. They'll take a little damage, but they should win that fight. And there's another pike unit moving to outflank them, but as expected, Carthage is breaking through the middle, and Egypt is going to have very little to stop them there. Their pikes are taking a lot of damage. There are some dangerous units out here, obviously, the Galatian Royal Guard really sticking it to that Sacred Band, but the Sacred Band's a tough unit. It doesn't have that 30 damage spear like it should, and I've mentioned many times, but it still slaps pretty good in a melee at 42 attack. Um, I mean, they're, they're a tough unit, 105 armor, so it's not going to be a complete pushover, and it's got cavalry support here as well, so that Galatian Royal Guard's going to have its work cut out for it. There's javelin support there as well, but look at the Thurio Spears coming out here aggressively, pitching their javelins into that 
Nimidian cavalry, and they will shred it in a heartbeat. Carthage over here sending another late Libyan to fix the Galatian Royal Guard. Javelin's now expended. Here comes the Libyan Peltist working to outflank, and then a Sam Knight coming in to finish it. So nice work there. The Sacred Band, it looks like, um, did route that Pike unit. Okay, it's over attacking the Carrion Axe General. So it's just outmaneuvering the pikes. That's a good place for that sacred band. Uh, Carthage is looking to be in very solid shape here, in my opinion. The the bodyguard is off chasing something, some kind of routing unit. I don't know exactly what, but I mean at least it's safe at this point. The Rhodian slinger, some of them still alive. Um, they were throwing. It looks like at more Carthaginian cavalry. Not a bad target at all. Uh, these Thurio spears doing a good job protecting. If they run out of javelins though. There's not going to be a whole lot they can do. And look at this, this this peltist. Good unit for this pursuit. It's going to push through and chase off the uh, Slingers, and there's a Sam Knight Warrior there as well. So the uh, Carthaginian infantry here just really bullying the front line of Egypt. Egypt usually, you know, depends on uh, missiles or elephants or something like that to get the tremendous amount of damage done. And in this case, uh, Carthage just had more resilient infantry, and the Egyptian line uh, just crumbled and that they weren't able to get the key damage done to overcome these elite infantry units. And I kind of like this play against Egypt. I can see it sometimes not working, but it certainly worked here. Um, at least it appears to have worked. Um, I mean, Carthage, uh, yeah, just made pretty short work of pretty much all that infantry, except for the Galatian Royal Guard, which I do expect to get a fair number of kills. This one's almost 300. That's not a fair number of kills. That's a crap load of kills. Very impressive. Um, so again, just to give you an idea, those are very, very tough units. Now, a lot of those kills were against Libyan Hoplites and these Peltists and stuff, but still, uh, that's a really tough unit. And it's not routing even amidst all this mess. So again, a respectable unit in, in every fashion. A little bit of a rear charge here to hurt their morale, so nice, nice play by the cavalry. The Sacred Band really did well. This one got 80 kills and held out in this fight the entire battle. Uh, and it's hoplite wall fighting against both of the, all these units are in wall formations and it's getting them all broken up and messed up here while some of the soldiers break ranks to go into matched uh, combat animations <laughs> oh man Rome 2 it's a different story than, than Warhammer or like Three Kingdoms or Troy or anything like that it's very different I like it though it's 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 cool uh, could it have been better sure and I think that a lot of us wanted it to be better but in the end I, Rome 2 really was a pretty solid game and a I think a pretty good entry to its its namesake. Uh, again, I won't say it was perfect or exactly what I had hoped for or expected, but you know what? That's things to look forward to in the future, and hopefully we do hear something in the future about historical Total War. I know a lot of people are dying for it, but hey, we got this to enjoy still, and we're going to keep enjoying it. So I appreciate Hotel Soap sending this in, um, and we've got more treks on the other side, so appreciate them as well for bringing in the Egyptian army. Really nice kills in that Kalashian Royal Guard. It's a double chevron on both, unless they had that to begin with. I think they both earned it. Um, so pretty good performance there. Pretty good performance out of the Balearic Slingers, too. One of them picking up a chevron. The other one's struggling a little bit. Um, but, I mean, yeah, this, this soft infantry with heavy missiles, you know, it's certainly a strategy that Egypt can pull off. Did not work in this case. The Samnites are very, very well armored and shielded. Look at the kills. 213, 232. You can tell that those light units, those Levy Thurio spears, were just getting crunched under that very heavy infantry. Um, so well done there for Carthage. But anyway, appreciate Hotel Soap and more tricks. I will see you all soon with some more content in Total War Room 2. See you then.